dude, it's like 12 o'clock and I have fucking work tomorrow. Anyways, I get it. There's a lot of anime with creative ideas and stuff that just seems to be out of the box. It tries to be as creative as possible. Don't get me wrong, I understand that. And there are a lot of weird anime, yes. But if you're gonna make a fucking weird-ass plot, have a good story. So, romance animes. A time on the internet you just enjoyed on the internet being bored. Got into the heavy, lovey-dovey romance shit and the affection trope. Or, you were a lonely, miserable fuck like me who was scared to talk to women in a romantic sense because the idea of getting rejected felt like watching the first 10 minutes of Goblin Slayer. Excruciating and fucking painful. Whenever anybody mentions this fucking anime, I feel like slamming my fucking head through the wall. What anime you're probably asking? Well, it's called Mystery X Girlfriend. <laughs> If you are lucky enough to not see this fucking dumpster fire of an anime, well, it's one season long, thankfully, with for some reason a longer manga. The story more or less starts off with the MC being the stereotypical generic romance MC, you know, scared of fucking everything, especially fucking women for some reason. Like, these motherfuckers avoid women harder than L and Light trying to hide how gay they actually are for each other. Hey, so, Light, are you finally gonna admit? That I'm tight? I mean, right? Never let me smash! Fuck, I mean pass! I'm leaving! I need ass! I mean the dash! Anyways, the MC Sukabaki sort of finds this chick with like a terrible haircut interesting. And eventually they end up getting closer. And also, yeah, she kind of has panty scissors that are like faster than the Flash and Sonic put together for some fucking reason. But like, yeah, that's a thing. Anyways... To connect with each other, the main girl, Makoto, sort of just, um, how do I put this? She sticks her finger in her mouth, and then she pulls it out with the most descriptive MAPPA fucking type animating drool I've ever seen, and fucking shoves it in his mouth. Wait, wait, here's the best part. The motherfucker likes it. He slurps it up even like it's fucking dessert, and bro wants seconds. What the actual fuck? So yeah, more or less, they connect in the whole story by sharing saliva with each other back and forth, like a way of fucking trade between each other, like it's the fucking U.S. and China. Anyways, yeah, that's all I have for this video, before I fucking throw up, just rethinking the whole fucking anime again. I can't force you not to watch it, but it's really bad. So go at your own risk, if anything. I'd rather recommend fucking prison school, because at least it's more interesting. Till next time, Cosmic signing off. Bye. She calls me day and night I'm sorry, girl, you just